Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what I did to my Everlast 255 EXT welder. And the reason I'm actually doing this to this welder is because of this little inconvenience these welders have, which is a very high noise level from these cooling things. There's actually four of them and they all run on high speed all the time. No matter what you do, you plug it in, they blast the full speed. So the way the connection for these fans works is we have a transformer, two uh, diode bridges, uh, capacitors, and pairs of motors connected in parallel. So this is our transformer. The diode bridges are over there, rectifying bridges and motors are connected right here what you see at this point is after the modification was done you see all these zip ties that i didn't cut yet so the way i'm going to approach this modification is by lowering the voltage on motors by the means of connecting them in series when i don't want them to make a lot of noise so when the machine is cold, a temperature sensor like this, except I've installed a 35 degrees over there. It's a normally open contact, uh, temperature sensitive contact basically. Here's one on one side of the heat sink. There's actually two heat sinks. One is a little smaller, the other one's bigger on the other side and there is another one another temperature contact i installed on each sink so when the machine is cold both contacts are open and relays are not energized and we have a current going from plus through one motor and then through current reducing resistor through another motor to negative. Therefore, motors are connected in series. In the event when heat sink temperature rises above 35 degrees Celsius, either one of those close, both relay coils energize and all these contact groups switch. And this is what we have when they're switched. I just uh, one example they're identical actually so current will flow from positive going to one motor and another motor and then going from both motors to negative so they be, be connected in parallel just like on the original schematics two of them in parallel I already showed you the temperature context I installed and the rest of the modification is here. This is one relay over here with a resistor. And another relay here with another resistor over there. So when we start the machine, fans only engage half power. And it's, it's a very tolerable and comfortable work environment when it's like this nice and quiet but when either of the uh, temperature contacts get above the temperature threshold just give it a second we get this result and when the higher air volume passes through the radiator pulls it down the switch will, the contact will open again. So you see how it works. So even on the low speed, the fans, they actually move quite a, lot, quite a bit of air. So it's not gonna overheat. You can see how much air volume just you can feel it actually 
And the reason I was comfortable getting inside the machine is because I'm a professional. I'm just kidding. I saw this one video on YouTube. The guy does this, these modifications, except when he does it, he has only one fan in the back. So when I opened my machine, I found there's four fans. And then I started thinking how to approach this project. So you see all the wiring, manipulations I've done, soldering, everything. I tried to be as neat as I could just for the YouTube. This top of the line machine is actually quite heavy. Despite that they missed putting few of the components, like a big resistor missing here, they never installed it. Um, few transistors, instead of three, they just installed two of them. But it's still a very good machine, a quality built. And craftsmanship is very remarkable. The attention to details is quite fascinating, actually. All the cable ties and cable jackets and plastic shields and everything. It talks about quality of the machine. Anyway, if you think you like this video, go ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye.